All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 85 Notes, Tangent, Pythagorean Measures. Objectives, you'll be able to determine if a line is tangent to a circle, determine the perimeter of a polygon when all sides are tangent to a circle, and determine a segment length of a tangent line given to tangent lines to be the same circle. So what does the word tangent mean? A line is tangent to the circle when it is touching the circle in exactly one point. So we have this black line here, L. It's only touching the circle exactly at one point. Not multiple points, but just one point. So the radius of the line and the tangent line are exactly perpendicular from each other. So if it's touching at one point, the center of the circle to that one point is the radius. And it makes a 90 degree angle. So it needs to be a 90 degree angle to help prove that this line L is tangent to this circle. And to do that, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, uh, you remember that from before, that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's practice that. Determine if a line AB, so our goal is determine that this line AB, that orange line, is tangent to this black circle. To do that, we do the Pythagorean theorem. Now our goal is for this to be a right angle. So that means this edge here, this 18, has to be the hypotenuse. So what we do, we do 10.8 squared plus 13.8 squared equals 18 squared. Let me put that in the calculator. 10.8 squared plus 13.8 squared gets you a 30708. 307.08. And we want to know is that equal to 18 squared? So do 18 squared. We get that equal to 324. Since they're not equal to each other, that means it's not tangent. So that line AB is not tangent. All right, let's look at another one. Number two. Now this one's a little tricky. They throw us a radius of 2.4. So it means this entire side is 4.8. We want to determine to see if that one, that angle right there is a right angle. So we do 4.8 squared plus 4.8 squared. We put that in the calculator. And we get 530.84. And we want to see if that's 7.3 squared. Well, 7.3 squared, put that in the calculator, and we get 53.29. So clearly that does not equal 53.29. So this is not tangent. Let's look at number three. This whole side length is the hypotenuse, so 4.6 plus 6.9. That gets us 11.5. So the hypotenuse is 11.5. Our radius here is 6.9, so that means this guy is also 6.9. So we gotta do 7.5 squared plus 6.9 squared. We get 103.86. And we wanna see if that is equal to 11.5 squared, which is not, it's 132.25. So it's not tangent. They have to be equal in order for it to be tangent. Number four, in our scenario, this is our right angle that we're trying to find. We want to see if that line AB is tangent to this circle. So this is going to be 7.2 squared plus 9.6 squared. We want to see if that's equal to 12 squared. 
So 9.6 squared plus 7.2 squared gets you 144. I'm going to double check that. So I forgot to use parentheses. It equals 144. Since this equals 144 and we know 12 squared is 144, that means it's tangent. Look at number five. We want to test this right angle right here. So we got 11.8 squared plus 8.1 squared. Let me find out that's 204. 0.85 and then we got to do 13.5 squared which gets you 182 204 clearly does not equal 182 so that means it's not tangent look at number six determine the right angle it's always about the tangent line and the radius being connected so that's where I find my right angle I want it to be a right angle so this is going to be our hypotenuse. So it'll be 9 squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. And we test that by putting that in the calculator. So 9 squared plus 12 squared gets you 225. 15 squared is 225. So it's tangent for number 6. Looking at number 7. Our goal is to have that to be the right angle. So 9.6 squared plus 12.8 squared equals 16 squared. So let's go parentheses 9.6 squared plus parentheses 12.8 squared. Get you 256. Does that equal 16 squared? Yes, it does. 256 equals 256. So number seven is tangent. Try number eight here. A squared plus B squared. Does that equal C squared? 